We're on our way up to the scalloping ground uh, near Boagenor now, I think. So there might be a chance of a cannibal or two. We'll see. Rick diving gloves, which are completely intact. And then we have our scalloping gloves with every single finger worn out. And yeah, they're nice and sharp, them scallops. Yeah, <laughs> that's not good. We have to get some new ones. Where the grips go? Yeah, is the inside lining on as well? No, no, no. Oh, mine's gone. Check out the seabed around here. Looks a bit twiggy. This is merle beds. Merle is actually a seaweed. It's a coralline algae. It's a weird little structure. Looks very twiggy, branch-like. And it always grows in fast-running areas of water. It's actually quite a valuable habitat, supporting a whole host of other marine life. Crustaceans and enemies, and very small juvenile fish. We done alright eh? 
couple of hundred there. And then Matt's got a couple of hundred himself. And the cannonball king. Yeah. Another cannonball. Well, the bag's that big, it's normally around the 150, but we're just the size of it. I'm going to go and say around. We like that guy so much, we're going to go in again. It's not many undersizing there either, look. I mean, some of them, look. Beauty's it. Beasts. <laughs> everyone, everyone is a buster. A buster. Seven dozen, eh? When you get nine dozen on your first dive. Ninety-seven. Ooh. Might need another bungo. Hang on, Pete. <laughs> didn't check out the size that one. <laughs> mm, <laughs> the dustbin okay. lid. Yeah. This always as big as a bungo. Fifty-one busters. Oh. Oh, inside. Not one. Not one size. Let's, let's dip mine out now. I've got a uh, glass base there, I wanted to just have a look at it, I blew that glass is. Look at this. Looks like black glass. Put it in the shade, it, it looks blue. They should have written the base of an onion bowl. 1700's onion bowl. Let's put her up to the sun to see what happens. And she's olive to the sun. Cool. Anyway, it's been on the seabed for a couple of hundred years. Forty-two. Oh, good numbers for me. Forty-two now. Forty-three. Oh, forty-three. Yeah, forty-three. Up on the lift bag because there's so, there's so many. And I reckon there's going to be a one. I reckon 150. I think he could have actually beaten the skipper. Lift, lift, lift her up, lift her up, Bill, just, just have a look at the scale. Ah, Paul's big monster cat. Yeah, that is quite a big bag, Paul. And they're all big girls. There's so many in there. Yeah. I'm going to let him count. Yeah, let him count. It's like Mary Poppins' bag, like, look. Yeah. I need to emphasize that. Go down the leading line. I oh, reckon that's going to be that one full as well. And he wasn't that big, he got and a few Yeah, more. he sent the bag up and then he still bag. got a load of them. The Cannibal King, it's not a cannibaler. That one was quite hard to see apparently. So, I might crack that one. Yeah, oh man, I reckon. I reckon this one is a shrapnel uh, shell or a spherical yeah. rancher. I reckon that's a plug in there. Did you see the air bubble come out? Oh, anyway, that's all that Matt seen sticking out of the seabed. You can see where the black line is, where the sand was. And obviously it's corroded. Fantastic south of Pebbles, which are on the seabed. So, we're going to have to go and get a cannibal now. And who's is this? Is that Matt's as well? We can go back. Looks too small. It's Richard in the sun. That's a beast, that's a beast, that's a beast.
All these cannibals we find here would have been fired out to sea, shooting at a floating target. The militia would have had practices quite often. Also, there is other reasons for uh, cannibals to be fired out to sea. As when the governor left the island, he used to fire the cannons as well. The only way to dislodge these things is by wafting the sand with a current of water. Look at this, looks like something out of a horror movie. It's like dry ice coming out from underneath it. Managed to crack it off the seabed now, but it's taken a lot of the reef with it. Just one more job to do. I could roll this into my scallop bag, but it's pretty heavy. What I will do is I'll put it in another bag and then send it to the surface with my lift bag. Together. Two. two. Together. I think two sticks together. I wonder if it's a. Uh, the chain one. Well, the chain one. Did you get those over here, Richard, with the chain Not in the really. Yeah. That's what he's been doing. He's been digging it out for the past 10 minutes. That's a good one. Easy. Yeah, there could just be a lot of stone next to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that schoolboy arrow not got a shackle yeah. on. Oh, that's just the one. Drift a lot for stone. Yeah. yeah, that's just the one. Yeah, that's We've just been one. digging it. It's a small one. That's why he's having so much trouble getting out of it. It's
most cannibal looking shaped one. Yeah, it's round, doesn't it? Say that, eh? Yeah. Large. Got a feeling that's Jason's boat. Any scallops? Cannibal, yeah. Probably is a few cannibals in here. There's lots over by the old. Look at that. Ah, best part of the scallop, that. That in a sandwich. Put it in a blender, a bit of cream, some soup. Lots yeah, yeah what, what did they say? Reduce it down. Yeah. On 490 right. degrees. Okay. Okay, One, two, three, four. So once we catch them, they go from here. Here, they have to they're evenly spread out in there, not too many because they suffocate each other back in the sea, so they're as fresh as anything. You can see down there baskets, cages, ink wells full, ready to be sold. Well, that's your lot for another Saturday dive. I hope you enjoyed that. First, we've done the ammo wreck, then, we've done a couple of scallops. And the scallops are absolutely humongous today. Uh, we got a little bit carried away on the uh, third dive because we went, we seen Matt and a cannibal, we wanted another cannibal, so we went and got one each. Me and Phil had some uh, some nice ones. Ours were solid shot, Matt's were hollowed shot. So it would have had uh, dynamite inside and some little ball bearings. Um, that would have exploded like a shotgun. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this dive again, and I'll catch you on the next tide.